I'm in assembling this TS420. I put the gasket in. I got the half clam started. I have my, I'm telling you, the impact set is incredible. I impact it down, right? Impact it down to where I got it gripping. The gasket's in place. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop in the hex. I'm going to drop in the uh, torque screws. So I'm going to pull this back out. <clears throat> Pollen's getting me. I don't know about the rest of you, but... Southeast Georgia has already started. i to take some Benadryl or something. <laughs> All right, I got it through that seal nice and clean. There's four bolts on this, and I'm going to drop them in and start them, right, through the gasket. One there, one there, one there, and one there. I'm sure there's some kind of torque spec on them. Um, I'll have to look it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just get them... I'm just going to pull them down in right now. I'm just going to, I'm not going to seat them hard. I'm just going to pull them. Where should I get the right one? You don't want to strip these out. I got the right one. All right. Sorry. I usually have my tools prepped. I got ahead of myself. I get excited on this stuff. So I'm just going to draw this down. I got my uh, Torx impact, my impact system here. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go crazy with it. Just so I get one click pound on it, maybe. There we go. There we go. You don't want to cross start any of these. Got them all started. Been down that road. There you go. All right. Now that'll pull the clamshell together. So now I know it's I know it's done tight, pulled together. And then I'll I'll go do the torque. I'll check it for daylight. I make sure I got it seated really good. Check gasket all the way around. And it uh, looks like I got it. Okay. Well, dang. Next, I'm going to do is flip it back over. Tighten it down just a little bit. A little bit of Permatex in there. Lube. I got that done. And I got my seal over here. I get all, a little bit of my finger. I'll lube the shaft. Got my glove on. Slide this down carefully so you don't ruin that seal in that um, spring right easy to do rock it back and forth you got to be aggressive with it I, sometimes i get paranoid myself i've ripped them before see that's what i'm talking about see what happened see how that spring dropped down in there so now i'm going to pull this back apart and i'm going to have to pick that spring up and carefully put it back on the lip seal it happens it happens even even as many times have i done this it still happens to me it's slightly irritating slightly frustrating but you just slow down, and I got my little tool right here, my little scribe tool. I'll pull it back up gently, and I'll flip it into the trash can. That's right. I just flipped it into oblivion. So that's the other frustration thing. So even when you're trying to do demonstration, you're going to have bloopers, all right? So I'll gently find my flashlight and find out where that silly little spring went, which is probably right down there in the trash bin. And I'll dig it out. Hopefully, I got caught on one of my magnets hanging on the side. That has been my savior sometimes. But anyways, I'll dig it. Oh, never mind. I found it. Fell right on the bench. Hallelujah. Fell right on my bench. Lucky my bench is cleaned. That's why you got to keep your work site clean. Because these things are tricky. And it's a hefty little spring. I can feel it. All right. I'll make sure it's clean. I'll reinstall the spring. And we'll pick up putting the seal in. All right, well, there's my blooper putting a seal on. You saw what happens if you don't do it right. Henry the Weeder Man out.